everybody and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Tanya and it's really nice for you to be here watching my video. So today is going to be the start of like a little series that I'm doing. Um, this is all going to be about me being a student paramedic, tips and tricks about starting your degree, what to look out for, placement prep, how to apply for people that haven't applied as of yet and thinking about it and all those kind of things. If there is any questions you've got for me or any videos you would like to see, just comment down below and I'll try and help you guys out as much as I can. Um, just before we get into it, the reason I decided to do this is when I got onto my degree course and whilst I was looking to become a paramedic, there wasn't much information or videos of how to apply, what they're looking for, things to do before you start university and things like that. Um, I've never done anything medical before, I'm not from a medical background, I'm not straight from college so college didn't help me with UCAS so it has been quite difficult actually um, for me when I was applying. So this is what this is here for, this is here for any questions, anything like that and hopefully I can help a few people out even if it's just one or two people watching this then that is great because I was so stressed when I was applying for this course like you do not believe how stressed I am. I've nearly finished my first year now and I wanted to start these videos a long time ago but wow, wow that course is full on. So there's going to be a few more tips and tricks all about being a student paramedic. So yeah let's get into the video. This this um, video is going to be all about how to prepare yourself for starting the course because when I got onto the course I honestly had no idea what to expect um, I had a look through the different modules and stuff like that but I didn't really know how to feel about it or what to do or if there was any kind of preparation which would be good for getting me started all these posters on the wall behind me these aren't band posters this is bioscience so you've got all of this to come <laughs> my exam is in two weeks and I'm very stressed so talking about bioscience because I've just showed you my posters on my degree course bioscience is an 80% pass mark I'm not very academic I struggled in school I struggled in college so knowing that this pass mark was so high I freaked out if you speak to first years, second years or third years, they will tell you start revising bioscience now because honestly there's so much of it and it is hard to wrap your head around, like it isn't easy, especially if you've not done science before or anything like that, like myself, it is really difficult, it's like learning everything from scratch. I decided to buy an anatomy book and this is the one which I recommend buying. So this is the Ross and Wilson's anatomy and physiology book. This has been a saviour. So since learning bioscience, this book is incredible. Absolutely incredible. The only thing is, I'm really, really dyslexic. Um, I'm not too great at reading things and really, truly understanding it. So I decided to buy this book once I got accepted onto the course, which was in, I think it was in January 2020. Um, and I thought, I'm going to start doing my bioscience now. I did not understand a single word in this book. I cried. I was like, I don't know if I can do this course. I don't know if this course is for me. I just didn't understand it. My boyfriend had a talking to him and he was like, look, you have never done bioscience before. Why are you starting by reading this massive book? So, tip number one is crash course on YouTube, Anatomy and Physiology crash course. I'll see if I can kind of put a photo of it in. I'm not the best on technology, filming or editing. So I'm sorry if I can't, but I'll try and link them below. They saved me, they start from tissues and cells and work their way up through the, ser through the series. And it's like a 10 minute video per system. Sometimes we're in a couple of parts if it's a big system. And the way he explains it is so basic and simple. And from getting that basic understanding then, I could then go in, read my Ross and Wilson's book and kind of make more depth and understand it more. And I found that really, really helped me because I'm more of a visual learner. 
Um, so this book is amazing and I recommend you getting it. But I would use this as a backup um, to doing the crash course videos because honestly, they just saved my life. He's amazing, he's dead enthusiastic, he's funny, he like links things to real life. And it's 10 minutes out of your day, you know, I sat and did one a day. And it just got me a bit of like a more basic understanding and stopped me stressing and worrying for when I started in September. Because obviously I don't know if you guys have come straight from college or if you're going into it a little bit later. I've never done science, like I said before, bioscience, and I was really, really nervous about it. I was like, I'm stupid, I'm not going to be able to do it. And just knowing that I got like a little bit of a base knowledge, not on all the topics, but just on some before I went in, it really settled me down and it just made me feel a bit more prepared and ready. Second point now. So organising your folders, your time. Just be organised from the get-go. I know it seems really silly, but it's a very full-on course. You've got placement, you've got exams, you've got assignments. I also work on the weekend at Specsavers just to earn a little bit of money whilst I'm studying. And you also need to find time for yourself. You need to have downtime, you need to see your family, you need to see your friends. You need to be able to have that time for yourself just to calm down, you know, spend time with your family and things like that. So if you get organised before you even start the course, it makes things so much better. It just makes your life a lot easier. I will just go and show you a folder um, just so you've got like an idea of what I do. I'll just pop and get it. So for every module, I've got a folder. This one is my clinical skills, um, yeah, clinical skills mod, uh, module. Um, so in here at the front, what I usually have is I just have like the module handbook, so everything that's going to be included, what they expect of you. If you've got any assessments or anything like that, I just download those, things like that, pop them in. You won't get those until you start in September. They'll all be uploading onto Blackboard or whatever kind of learning forum that you use. Um, but you can still set up your folders, get them ready. And I've just found that really helped me. Um, I've got another one here. Just for every module, just have a set folder. Any notes, bits of paper or things you get from university, anything like that. It just keeps them all together. And when you study and revising or want to look for something, it makes it a lot easier to find it. So that's a big one for me. Secondly, also about organising. I've been through a full pack of these. This is my second packet. I think these are just from B&M. It's a checklist, you know, things to do, notes page, things like that. On my desk in this corner here, I have like a whiteboard. I just pin things on there. That's one of my bioscience posters falling off the wall. If you hear funny noises, honestly, my, I think, I think it's the endocrine system. It's a big poster. It's a big, big topic. And it just always falls off the wall because it's so heavy and it really, really annoys me. In fact, let me show you how big it is. It's a big poster. I just keep on, if you've got things that you need to do, any online. Like obviously, we've been learning online this year because of COVID, most of it. The exams you've got coming up, assignments. You know, just little reminders. It can be anything like remind you to go for a walk at a certain time because it's important to get out. I just think it's really important to organise your time. Um, I've not done that in the past at school or college and I've found that it's made such a difference to the way I study really because I'm not getting myself in like a flap or stressed everything's there so organize everything before you get to uni um, because honestly it just makes such a big difference it really really does so the third thing I've got written down on here is make sure you tell your friends and family that it's a full-on course so I knew it was a full on course before I came onto it. I didn't really realise how full on it is. Um, but it's important that your friends and family are aware of how busy you're going to be. That you're going to see some things that you've probably never seen before when you're on placement. You're going to have a lot of work to do, a lot of stress. And it's fun. Being a student paramedic is amazing, don't let me scare you. Like, I just feel so proud to say that I'm a student paramedic, I really do. Um, but it is hard you know you've got placement weeks exams where you have to study sometimes whilst you're on placement 
you know if you're working a job at the weekend or one day a week just to earn some money you do need family and friends that support you know that you're not going to be able to come out to lots of social events we'll be working weekends we'll be really busy and just preparing them for that and making sure that they're aware and you know they'll be there for you it just takes a bit more pressure off your shoulders you know you know that you're going onto a course with a good set of people behind you really that will be there to pick you up if you had a bad day or help you if you're stressed or nervous about anything and at the end of the day that they'll actually realise that they're not going to be able to see you all the time and things like that you know um, so that is a big one for me um, it's so important to have such like a supportive bubble around you um, so just making sure that your friends and family are aware that it is going to be a pretty full on course it's going to be full on three years and that you still love them you still love your friend but you may be going up meltdown mountain a few times like i've been doing about bioscience and you just need to sit there listen and yeah you know that's what friends and family are for they're there for you through the good through the bad um and it's three years of our lives and at the end of it we'll qualify as paramedics and you know it'll be amazing i've said this from the get-go and this is another thing to think of just imagine how proud you'll be at the end of those three years when you graduate and qualify as a paramedic it'll just be like the most amazing feeling ever and it's enough to get you through honestly once you've been on placement and things like that and I am going to do a few videos on placement prep, exams, all of those kind of things so any questions like I said just pop it down below um, but yeah it's amazing. So another thing as well which I've got on my list um, about preparing yourself for starting a paramedic degree is be excited. I know it sounds really silly but how many people can say that they're a student paramedic? You know, be proud, tell people, tell your friends, speak to your family about it. Because to get on a degree course is hard anyway. But especially the paramedic course, there's not that many spaces. It is really tricky to get onto and you should just be mega, mega proud of yourself that you've got onto the course. And yeah, just keep reminding yourself that you're gonna be a student paramedic and it is crazy. Like, I still can't believe it. Um, but it's so exciting, like, just seeing everything for the first time, meeting your uni friends, you know, like, no matter what course you're on, uni is super exciting, it's a big part of your life, and just make the most of it, go into it positive, prepared, excited, and try not to worry, um, I was a worrying wreck, I'm not gonna lie, I went on holiday just before I started, and I was panic buying all sorts, stethoscopes, the lot. Um, just go to uni, have all your basic stuff like pens, pencils, you know, notebook and then go from there. We're not expected to know anything or buy anything before we've started. That's what induction week and things like that's for. Um, so yeah, just really, really enjoy it because it is, I think it's something special anyway. <laughs> and finally, this is actually my last point now is try to have a look on Facebook to see if there's any like group chats or anything. I think in the Facebook group, so you want to be a paramedic, a lot of students are in there and they post about what university they're going to and things like that. And usually there's quite a big group chat. Sorry, I keep looking up there because they're talking the camera. And um, there's usually like a group chat for your cohort. And um, I got added to this quite late because I didn't know about this. And this is something that I wish I knew about. Um, beforehand because as soon as I started speaking to people on my course again that was another thing that took pressure off my shoulders because I realised how lovely they were um, and it's just nice to speak to people with diff the same concerns, worries, excitement as you um, so yeah if you have a look in so you want to be a paramedic on Facebook there is usually quite a lot of people um, talking about it if not you can pop a status on yourself and say um, just got a place at such and such university studying paramedic practice or paramedic science um, I was just wondering if there was a group chat and this is such a good way to meet people before you go there I know it's been quite tough with Covid um, we've not really been able to meet up with anybody um, but I did manage to go for some drinks with just a couple of the people on my course um, at the start of the year and again it was so lovely just to get to know people and um, people that you can speak to you know about all the things at uni because 
I'm not very good with technology. I know I'm young and I should be, but I'm absolutely rubbish at it. Um, and when we first got introduced to that the learning platform Blackboard and how to use it and things like that, I could not find anything at all. Not a single lecture ever. So I was constantly messaging my friends that I'd met over this group, like, where's the link for the lecture? Where's this? Where's that? Because I seriously just could not find it. So just for little things like that, like knowing someone that the, that's on the same course as you where you can ask as many questions as you like. I just thought it was really, really handy and just really nice as well, comforting. Um, and yeah, so that's it really for me on preparation for going to uni to study a paramedic degree. Um, revised bioscience, I can't stress that enough, honestly. Bioscience has given me a lot of stress. I love it, it's really good. Um, so interesting but while wow, there's a lot of topics to learn and when you go in the ambulance you don't realise how good it is to have like quite a good knowledge and understanding of all the systems so bioscience number one be prepared get yourself organised ready to go everything like that be excited be proud just love it like it's an amazing opportunity and you should be really chuffed for yourself Friends and family, make sure you've got that wonderful support behind you because it does make a massive, massive difference. And making friends at uni, you know, with the group chats and things like that. Anyway, I hope this video has been useful to somebody. Um, if there's any other videos you want me to do, any questions, anything like that, always feel free to put anything in the comments. I'll help as many of you guys out as I possibly can. Um, it's fun, it's scary, it's stressful, and you know, we're all in it together to for the end goal we all want to be paramedics at the end of the day um so yeah thank you so much for watching guys it means quite a lot to me um if you did like this video and it helped <laughs> give it a really big thumbs up and hit subscribe i do do vlogs and stuff like that but that's just to look back on memories if you want all the updates with how paramedics go in anything like that hit subscribe and it'll all come up on my youtube but yes thanks so much for watching and i'll see you in the next video Bye and good luck. <laughs>